make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. So you can mark out where those ties are going to be sitting first, draw little lines in the sand or dirt, and then start digging those holes. We're going to dig these ones a little bit more than halfway of the diameter of those ties, so you get a really strong foundation. You can use the pipe itself as a template for where you want to mark out and cut those holes for your beam balancer. You find it's best to drill some holes in it first and you can get a knife in there and just cut around trying to make it as clean as possible and also ensuring the pipe is actually going to be as high up to the inside of the tyre as you can be. When you bolt them through they'll sit really flush and tight. When you're building this balance beam extended, just want to make sure that you're not going on too tight of an angle because it might be a bit too difficult to connect both of those pieces of wood or metal into that tyre. So you can't really go much more than 90 degrees on those ones. We've dug the holes for these tyres to be sitting in and now we can pop those in. We're doing about two 3 metre lengths of pipe for this one and then two 2 metre lengths. Mark out where those holes are going to be dug and then put those tyres in double check them again with your either wood or metal and then cut that to size and then we can start bolting in from the top. Place the metal pieces or wood through the holes that you've cut out into those tyres and then rest it on the next tyre coming up. You can then mark out where that needs to be and cut it off accordingly. You can drill one hole through the tyre and then through the metal or wood as well or if you can't go all the way through that thick material then you can just make a mark with the drill bit take the piece out and drill it straight through again. As with all of these pieces you want to have really wide washers on these make sure that that's not going to move about especially in the rubber that can have a little bit more flexibility so we found it was easiest to drill one hole first and then pop a bolt through there so that the second bolt that you're going to put through won't have too much room to move about so if you do two holes at the same time there can be a little bit of movement so we're going about 3 metres for the distance between these beams, partly because you can get these metal pieces in 6 metre lengths, so that'll add up nice and easily. But also you don't want to go too far because you're going to have too much spring and if you're using wood then that might not be strong enough as well. So talk to the locals and find out what's going to work for you. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.